up, what's up? What are you doing? MC and my people call me milk. When I'm busting up a party, I feel no guilt. Brooklyn Biles is back. Up for the Four minute freestyle Suckers coming up. Down with me. The one of us, that's how I feel. To be down, you must appeal to the two. We're rated. All right, let's cut the, cut the music. 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 If you don't know that song, Top Billing by Audio Deuce, the Deuce Audio. I don't know what to tell you, but today we're back with another four minute freestyle. Let's jump right into it. This one comes to you courtesy of a conversation I had recently with a student about food. Oh, food, sensitive, to uh, sensitive topic, right? Uh, basically, plant-based diet versus all the types of diet. We were getting into it, and uh, like a lot of conversations around food, it started meandering through a lot of different topics, right? Talk about morals and ethics and uh, the environment and health and, and all those things. And I said, well, let me boil down one component to this conversation, one component to a four minute freestyle. So the title of this four minute freestyle off the dome, here we go, is going to be plant-based diet, energy efficiency. All right. Energy efficiency. That's a long title, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So I got the time already and here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, by the way, shout out to Lexi. This one's for you. Go. All right. We're talking about food, like I said a second ago, plant-based diet versus other types of diets. There are many different types of diets, right? Uh, basically, the conversation can wander into so many different realms, right? Health of an individual, health of a population. They could talk about morals and ethics. We could talk about sustainability. We could talk about climate change. All these different topics can come up in the course of a conversation. And yeah, there's a lot of conflicting research, not conflicting, but there's research on, let's say, multiple sides of the health debate, right? Uh, what type of diet is best for you? What's best for longevity? Uh, every person is very different. So very nuanced conversations. But I said to this student the other day uh, during my freestyle, and I share it with you today, there's one realm where if you wanted to get really objective when it comes to this conversation and avoid all the complications and fuzziness or what have you with a lot of those other topics go to the language of the universe the purest science that we have and that is physics okay the language of the universe i like to call it sometimes so take the conversation for a moment into this realm and in fact take it into the realm of thermodynamics what do i mean by that well there are some indisputable uh theories if you will right or laws i'm going to call them the laws of thermodynamics and one of them, to summarize it quickly, is the second law. And this could be stated in many different ways, but the one that I want to focus on today is that all systems tend towards increasing entropy, right? Which means increasing disorder. No matter what you do, you're heading towards disaster. Even the sun's going to burn out one day, right? So what does that mean for food? Well, if most of the energy of our planet comes from the sun, right? And that sun helps plants to grow. So there's some plants, great. And then we feed those plants to, let's say, a big old cow. Here comes my cow, right? Sure, why not? And then we eat the cow, right? Well, at each step along the way, because none of these conversions are perfect, you have energy lost here, you have energy lost here, you have energy lost here in the form of heat, in the form of indigestible parts, whatever. Not to mention the amount of resources, again, we're just talking physics, that go into raising, maintaining, and eventually quote unquote processing this animal, right? So basically we have one step, two step, three steps. And each step along the way, according to the second law of thermodynamics, you have inefficiencies, you have losses, losses, losses. Well, if you wanted to minimize the losses in this system, in this process of obtaining nutrients, well, you reduce the number of links. There's the sun, grow the plants, person eats the plants. Bam. No opinions, no morals, no ethics involved. This, there's going to be loss here. This, you know, plants are not perfectly 100% perfect machines either. So there's a loss here, not 100%. And we're not perfect energy conversion machines either when we eat this stuff up, right? Put the hat on folks. So there's a little bit of a loss here, but notice that you've minimized the number of opportunities, right? The fewer links in this chain, the better you are or the more efficient. So again, when I want to stick to just the facts, right? And I want to be a pretty cold, hard, cool, objective-minded scientist when talking about data, I introduce 
physics into the conversation. There's no getting around it. One of those diets, I very much oversimplified it for this freestyle. I got 20 seconds left, but there's no denying it. The fewer opportunities you have for energy loss and inefficiency, well then you're slowing down entropy. You're slowing it down. You're getting rid of that wastefulness. So we talked about that and I think we had a really good conversation. So uh, there's just a different uh, perspective to keep things on. If you're interested in energy efficiency, oh, damn it. All right. Time's up. That's four minutes. Goes by fast, right? Yeah, hot 97. Way back in the day. Anyway, let's stop that. All right. So there's another four minute freestyle. To recap, another way, another approach to talking about plant based diets. Man, a lot of people like to talk about morals and ethics, right? Sure, that's fine. It's a good, fun, fun conversation. It's a good one to have. A lot of people like to talk about health of both themselves and the population. Can't believe I spelled that wrong. Uh, the population, the individual, the planet, all these are wonderful conversations, right? And they take many different angles, many different routes, and you can find a ton of resources on it. But if you want to have uh, introduce even more interesting nuance to in this conversation, right? Go with physics. Talk about energy efficiency. Okay, because there's no escaping it. It's a much simpler way to have energy flow for this through the system, and it is less opportunities for the system to prove its inefficiencies, right? It slows down your inevitable approach to entropy. That's it, friends. That's it for the four-minute freestyle. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, click this, click that, subscribe to this, da, 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 or don't. The most important thing is that you watch the video, you enjoyed yourself, and maybe you learn a little something. So, like I always say, even with this topic, we can keep going, but the four minute freestyle is done. And like my Aunt Cindy says, if I'm done, you're done. It always takes me a to do this, so I mean it this time, you're done. <laughs>